Good morning, guys. I am putting some cartoons on for this little girl. She's laying right there because I am going to be vlogging today, but there we go. Do any of you guys do that? I have a doctor's appointment today. She's going to stay here by herself. Before I leave and stuff, I always have to like turn the TV on for her or something because I feel bad leaving her alone. So I just took my vitamins and I'm getting ready to head out the door because it is 8.51 already and I have an appointment at 10.20. Hazel, come here. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Come here, give me some kisses. You eating your treats? You eating your treats? Yes. I love you, mama. You guys, we kicked Roscoe out. <laughs> all right, so we are getting ready for takeoff. I'm going all by my lonesome and I figured why not vlog, right? So this is just gonna be like a follow me around kind of day. I just have to go pay some bills and stuff like that. Nothing exciting, I'm going by myself, so let's go. <laughs> it's 8.51, I have to be in Laredo by 10.20, so let's pray that we get there. I figured that I would fill you guys in on everything that's been happening. So you guys, from the last vlog you saw that I combined week 27 through week 29 of my pregnancy and i didn't really like update you guys on much it was just really it was just like a really quick video we got baby girl her crib and her bedding and everything i loved it i cannot wait to finish setting up her nursery and stuff like that i'm super excited and i can't wait to take out my vanity from her bedroom or like from her nursery or whatever so that we can put it into my bedroom but uh, what's been happening, what's been happening? So we ended up kicking out Roscoe. We didn't kick her out. She's just an outdoor cat now. I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys had been seeing that I was trying to get her to stay outside because she's always been an indoor cat. She's been outside for about a week now. Uh, and the reason why we threw her out, like I don't want animal lovers to hate me or anything because I love animals I would never do anything to harm an animal I wouldn't you know what I mean so the reason we kicked her out was because her hair she sheds a lot obviously I'm about to bring a little baby into this world I didn't want her hair to like affect my baby in any way I am super allergic to cats so and I still had a cat so that like goes to show how much I really don't care about you know having an animal that even that I'm allergic to the story behind Roscoe and how we got her is that one of my friends had called me one day and they told me that there was a cat stuck in her walls like stuck in between her walls and she was a little little teeny tiny baby I don't even know like how she managed to get herself stuck in the wall but she did and they called me and they told me that they were gonna throw her away so right away like I was like no you cannot throw her away I'm on my way to go pick her up so Bert and I went to go pick her up and we like adopted her and we've had her ever since she's always been an indoor cat so my heart did break whenever I had to like put her outside but so far she's been really good outside like she hasn't had any trouble she's not trying to get back inside the house we have a big tree in our front yard and there's a ton of birds so she's constantly trying to chase birds so she's really happy outside and that makes me happy that i can think about my child's safety and also like not her safety her health and also for my cat for my animal so the only animal we have inside now is hazel but she's a teeny tiny chihuahua and she hardly she barely has any hair so i don't think she'll be any problem but today i am 29 weeks and five days then i think when bert's off we're gonna vlog so i'll be 30 weeks and some days whenever you guys see me again baby girl and i have a doctor's appointment so we're just we're just gonna go 
and I'm gonna take you guys along because I hate going places by myself. Today shall be fun. I hope it's not awkward. <laughs> construction and they like they always had one lane close well finally <laughs> finally they fixed the problem and they finally finished construction well like you know sort of look at the old man he's riding a bike so this is what it looks like this is what they did see there's still kind of construction but it, it ain't that bad the road is so freaking smooth. I love it. Love it. Nope, there's still construction. Well, they were supposed to have opened four lanes already because the last time I came through here, there was already four lanes open. But as you can see, they closed the right one again. Oh, well, look, you see what I mean? See how now this little place has four lanes? That's amazing before it was just two lanes and it was, it sucked and now they have four in a smooth ass road very nice I also wanted to tell you guys I like hardly slept last night it's getting so hard to sleep that's another reason why we haven't or like well yeah we haven't been vlogging as much because I am like dying last it's getting last night was so horrible to sleep that my back my, like my back and my hips felt like they were on fire that's how bad it hurts to be pregnant <laughs> no it doesn't hurt it's just I've always had back problems I've had I had been diagnosed with minor scoliosis years ago and then I never went back to get it checked a couple months ago or like maybe like half a year ago or so or like last year I don't even it was in January of last year, I got into a car accident. They hit me from behind, so I had to go to like therapy and stuff like that. And they sent me to get an MRI done, and they ended up telling me that I had a pinched nerve. I had, I don't know what else is wrong with my back. So I know now like that has something to do with it, but that's besides the point. Um, so now being pregnant and carrying all this extra weight in the front, and on the sides and everywhere else is getting pretty hard like my back more than anything hurts I can't lay on my back anymore because I can literally feel my pulse in my hips that's like that's bad and then if I lay on my stomach this little baby girl starts moving like crazy I can only sleep on my stomach if I have a pillow under me so like all of my weight isn't like I'm not squashing her but for the most part, like, I have to sleep on my side and then my sciatic nerve has been bothering me. So if I sleep on my right side, my left leg, like, from my butt cheek down goes numb. So it's so hard, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to start, like, sleeping, sitting down. But we're halfway there, it's 9.21, so I have an hour left. But I'm pretty sure I'll get there before and I've gotta pee. Okay, it is 9.37 and I just got to Laredo, but I have some time to kill. So I'm going to wash my truck because it got shitted on last night by a bird that had diarrhea. We had told you guys this was like the best store to wash your cars at. It's right across LCC South. So... I'm going to get in here, listening to Pandora, the oldest jams of life, listening to some old Riri. <laughs> Come on. Thank you very much. It's 9.40. I have to be there in 30 minutes. I'll get there. I'll get there. Not to worry. <laughs> Let's wash my truck. I love this car wash so much. It feels weird coming here without Bert.
14. I doubt that you guys can see it, but I got here just in time. I'll probably be out by like 10.30 because this man, my doctor doesn't take long at all, so I'll be out in just a second. All right, you guys, so I just got out of the doctor's office. It is 11.06. It took longer than I expected, but I ended up losing another pound because the last time I came back, I had gained four pounds right four five six seven yeah because i had gained a total of seven pounds throughout the entire like pregnancy or whatever and i've already lost two of those seven so i've only gained like five pounds basically throughout the entire pregnancy which the doctor doesn't see anything wrong with it because baby's growing the way that she should so he's not worried about that but I do have a sign of a UTI so I have to go pick up some medication at the pharmacy because I have been having like discomfort whenever I go to the bathroom. He just said it was like the smallest but he wants to take care of it right away before like it becomes anything else. So I have to, I'll, I'll come back, well actually I come back next week and then the following week for my two week checkup. Next week I have my three hour glucose test and then I have to come back the following week for the two week checkup. Baby girl's heartbeat sounds really good. That's basically it. I was in there for maybe like five minutes with the doctor. I already paid most of my bills online so I'm pretty much done. And then I'll probably go to Target and I have to go to the bank. Those are the, oh, and I wanna go to Starbucks. I'll probably go there first. Let's go. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. We're going to get you today. Um, yes, sir. Do you have the strawberry acai refresher? What type? Can I, um, can I have a grande? Anything else? Uh, that's all. Okay, through. Thank you. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram because it's super, it's like, it's a pink drink. Of course, I'm going to take a picture of it. Thank you. to Walmart which is just across the street oh I also have to pump gas so I'll probably do that after Walmart but let's go to Wally World inside Walmart because there was so many people there but I got basically everything that I needed I only spent 80 bucks which isn't that bad I have the bag back there I'll show you guys what I got whenever I get home but it wasn't like it wasn't a lot of stuff that I got I think I got like two pairs of shorts a couple makeup items that I was just running out of and what else did I get? I got a dish mat for like my dishes. Oh, I got a curling iron because I want to try to curl my hair so that I could style it the way that the lady who cut my hair styled it for my pictures that are coming up soon. And now I'm going to put gas and then we're going to head home because my little baby's all by herself. We'll get real love. We'll get already and I'm gonna go home and I guess that's it I'll see you guys when we get home all right so I just got to town it's 1 40 and I'm at the pharmacy I came to pick up my medication that I'm gonna need I feel like my back is in knots because of how like crazy people drive and the rush that they're in to get to where they're going 
it's so scary. I have been talking to Tracy all day, my friend Tracy. She does makeup videos on here on YouTube. I wanted to thank Tracy for helping me because she gets me through everything that I'm worried about through this pregnancy but there's two other girls that I want to thank and give shout outs to who also like make like mommy videos and stuff like that the girl who I was talking to you guys about she's under glam and fam under YouTube I will leave her her channel name down below her like so you guys can go subscribe to her the other girl who is like who I've become friends with is Maribela I think let me check what she's under cuz I want you guys to go like subscribe to them and I follow her on snapchat and through there like she helps me out so much she's under makeup by Maria on snapchat she's under Maribela I think so she's under makeup by Maria Munoz I will also leave her channel link down below because she like she helps me there is so many little things that she'll post on snapchat or she'll tell me like she bought this but this other item is better both of the both of those girls are like amazing and then i have a bunch of like snapchat mom who also give me tips and stuff and i want to thank you guys because without you guys i would be stuck like i really really appreciate all of the feedback that you guys give me and things like that i really appreciate it so don't ever like hesitate to give me your opinion or to help me out in any way like I want to know how you guys raise your kids and stuff like that so any like little information you guys have about babies or tips and tricks and things like that feel free to let me know because I would greatly appreciate them Hey, calm down. We are officially home, you guys. Hey, you happy mama's home? Are you happy mama's home? Are you happy I'm home? You're not going inside, though. And where's my little tiny? Where's my tiny? Did you miss mom? Were you watching TV all day? Come here. Were you watching TV? You watching Alvin and the Chipmunks? Do you miss me? Mommy had to go check on baby sister. Wanna go outside for a little bit? Let's do a little Walmart haul here, shall we? So I got this curling iron, but it's a one and a half barrel for soft, loose curls. Then I got this dish mat. It's just a gray and white dish mat to match colors in my kitchen. Ooh, this is nice. Look at how big this is. You know you're like old and married <laughs> once you get excited over a dish mat. Like this covers my whole belly area. This is really pretty. I can't wait to wash dishes. Um, I got this Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge because I picked up this concealer. Because the other day that I was at Walmart with my mom, I was helping her pick out a concealer. And I chose this one for her even though I've never tried it. And she said that she loved it, so I had to get one for myself. And then I picked up a backup of my favorite right now. This has been like my favorite thing to wear since I've been pregnant. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in this shade 530 Light Medium. Some of my happy apples because I love them so much. And I picked up two of these cotton swabs. They're the double-tipped cotton tips not cotton swabs and then i picked up this blush by wet n wild this is in the shade mellow wine the last two things that i got were just these pair of shorts like sleeping shorts i got them because they were on sale these were three dollars and then these gray ones with this black thing were five dollars let me show you guys my belly real quick i told y'all that i was 29 weeks and five days so this is what or the baby belly baby bump looks like today this shirt is like perfect for what i'm what i have on today it says lipstick eyeliner mascara flawless 
It's 3.33 in the afternoon and I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm watching Jersey Shore <laughs> and it feels like the perfect nap time. I really hope you guys enjoyed a video of just me by myself doing nothing but talking all day since I didn't do anything exciting. That about does it for this one. I will see you guys in our next vlog which We'll have Bert in it. Um, in the next vlog, I think we're gonna go buy baby girl some more stuff. So that's something exciting to look forward to. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you made it to the very end, thanks a ton. Bye, guys.